Patricia Nicole, Wella Professionals Brand Ambassador, and I'm here with my model, Sarah. It's been about seven months since I've touched up her hair, so I'm gonna be using free lights and also toning her with Colostin Perfect and Pastel Developer. I'm gonna be doing an open air process on her, which is gonna give her beautiful, bright results. Stay tuned. So what I did with Sarah's sectioning is I separated her hair into three horizontal lines. One line above her occipital bone, another line under the round of her head, and then I stopped at her crown. I separated the widest parts in half. For the front of her hair, I used the same line horizontally to come all across towards the top of her eyebrow. I separated those in half. Going off of her part line, I separated the heaviest side of her hair into three equal horizontal lines. Today I'm going to be using Blonder Free Lights on Sarah. She's a natural level 7, so her hair lifts very quickly. I'm going to use 20 volume of the dedicated developer, and I'm so excited for you guys to see how beautifully the slightener spreads and the consistency of it. It's perfect to paint with to push away all her small hairs and create a little bit of diffusion between her base and the mid lengths of her hair. Now I'm just laying the free lights right on top of the surface of the hair. I'm layering the lightener on top of the hair and look at the spreadability of this lightener. It's amazing. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hand and you're just gonna run the lightener through the ends. And this is your first section. I split the hair down the middle because I didn't want to paint the entire section and surface painting. It's really important whenever you're painting to paint as neatly as possible because wherever you lay the lightener is where it's going to lighten and you want to make sure that you avoid having any spots in the hair. So now what I like to do is I like to lay a cotton right underneath the section I just painted. That's going to keep everything nice and neat. So it's really important whenever you are working in certain sections of the hair to have your client give you tension. So as you can see, I'm just tipping Sarah's hair down so that way I have the maximum amount of tension possible. The reason why I like to have a lot of tension is because it gives me the perfect surface to paint off of. So because her ends are already really blonde, I'm just gonna be painting down until I get to the extremely blonde part of her hair. some pastel toning using Colostin Perfect 10 stroke 96 with Pastel Developer. The mixing ratio is 1 to 2. I chose 10 stroke 96 for Sarah's color because I wanted to stay at a level 10 whenever I was doing pastel toning and the violet would help to counteract any gold that might be remaining in her hair. I had a great time painting with Blonder Free Lights and Tony with Colossum Perfect. Be sure to subscribe to Wella Professionals on YouTube for more. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.